Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dwarf Fortress Getting Started Guide for New Players. Uh, and we're looking here at the Lazy Noob Pack again, um, where, where we left off uh, last episode uh, with the Embark screen. And uh, just to show you, there are some profiles here, and you might be wondering where the heck did this come from? It is from the Lazy Noob Pack. You can uh, have that with the Embark profiles. Default profiles are selected here by default, so if you didn't change that, then you will have these profiles here. Um, so without further ado, we'll look at these profiles. Now, you can modify all of these profiles and then you can save them back if you so desire to your own profile or your own starting Embark profile, uh, how you like to embark on fortresses. Um, I haven't bothered doing that. I just usually take one that I like and then modify it then and there. Um, so we're going to do the same. Now there are a few options here. There's play now and prepare carefully. Play now just sort of picks random stuff for you. Um, and gives you the seven dwarf. Prepare carefully is basically what we're going to do. But we're going to do it with one of these preset profiles that will have some um, skills selected for your dwarves. They will have customized the dwarves and they will have some gear and some animals pre-selected. And then I'm going to change it a little bit uh, to how I like it. The start that I like and I recommend for new players, even though it is some here that says easy start for new players, easy PC start, all of these things, I always recommend Nebulatron. Uh, two miners, grower, carpenter doctor, hunter, lumber, crafts dwarf, and cook brew. Uh, this represents the the scale of the dwarfs we're going to have in this preset. Uh, I like this. Um, so we're going to pick this. And depending on your world and your Embark site, you might get this that says Embark preparations were not complete. So I hit the up arrow and it says no pond turtles were available. That is fine by me. We are going to fix that uh, in the Embark. So... The Embark screen here is also something that we're probably now going to dedicate this whole episode to. <clears throat> uh, just to talk a little bit about the things here, I'm not going to go into detail about all of these professions because that's going to take forever and you can somehow figure it out as you go along, which is part of the Dwarf Fortress experience, to say that. But here we have seven dwarfs. Listed up in the corner here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? They are all peasants. They all start out like that. There has been pre-selected, you see if I hit up, down, left, right, you see the skills change on the uh, right-hand side here. They have been pre-selected for a few tasks. Uh, you could change this, I wouldn't recommend it, not at your first playthrough at least. Uh, but this is something you can get into detail and customize if you so desire. Uh, but they are basically set up like it said on the last screen. Two miners, um, carpenter, lumber, craft, cook, brew, etc. Uh, so we're not going to change anything here. Uh, but what we're essentially looking at is a point by system where by using points indicated by PTS down here, we can buy more levels in these skills. Now normally we have zero points available when we choose the preset. Uh, we have 44 points available now, but that is because of the previous notification we got that Embrock preparations were not complete because we were missing pond turtles. So we're going to change this view over to item view and that we do by hitting tab. And now we're in item view. These are on the left the items we're bringing with us and on the right the animals we are bringing with us. Same thing here with a point by system. Uh, now we had, uh, should have had 22 pond turtles uh, in addition to the 22 cave lobsters. So what we need to do to fix that is we need to add a new item and we do that by hitting new. Uh, and then we, let's see, what else could we add? We have pond turtles, cave lobsters, uh, pond, pond grabber? No. 
turtle meat, cave toads, cave crocodile, tripe. No, actually, what we're going to do, <laughs> ignore that. We're just going to uh, select cave lobster here, uh, in my case, and plus it out. I'm just going to hit plus until I have no more points. So now I have 44 cave lobster. We're going to go just cave lobster. This is food, by the way. Uh, if uh, Live food, I presume. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, if it's live or dead. But at least we have cave lobster, uh, which we will eat. Uh, we also have some beer, ale, wine, rum, uh, meat. Um, if you're missing meat, meat and uh, the food is usually what gets us if you have uh, errors in the embark. Uh, and it's usually the meat or the cave lobsters or pond turtles or whatever. Now, if you're missing any of the meats, you can just hit N and type in meat um, to, uh, to add more meat. Now, I don't have any points, so I'm not getting anything, but see if I go here meat. You just hit any meat if you're missing a type of meat. Like see I have yak meat and I have kia meat. So you could just select any type of meat that costs two mind you. Let's uh, see. Uh, new. Meat. We have some more meat up here that's expensive but you just hit any other meat that's two points and fill it up to 25 and you should be good. Uh, now another thing we will see here we have uh, meat and we have a steel anvil we have a uh, copper crossbow we have a turkey leather quivers we have two of those even though we only have the one crossbow um, actually that's pretty weird why would we have two quivers and we only have one crossbow well, possibility to make it easier for us later on we'll leave it like that 25 copper bolts uh, 50 plump helmet spawns. These are basically seeds for a specialty type of mushroom that the dwarves grow and make alcohol out of called plump helmets. And then we have pigtail seeds, which is a plant that can give us plant fibers to make cloth. Cave wheat, which can only be made for food. Sweet pods, also food. These are seeds, so we will farm these. Two copper pickaxes, since we have two miners. A copper battle axe. Um, this will be used for lumber initially uh, by our lumberjack. And we have the 44 cave lobsters. And you possibly have also pond turtles if you were so lucky. Um, so, changes to this that I make. Uh, I get rid of the steel anvil. I don't want it. Uh, well, actually, I do want it, but I don't need it early game. I just need a anvil. And the steel anvil costs 300 points. And I want to redistribute those points a little bit. So I'm going to hit N. Type in anvil or anvi. And I'm going to go for an iron anvil instead. Because you can do all the same things. It's just steel anvils are better. So for the initial get-go, we just want an iron anvil. And then we can later buy steel anvils uh, from merchants. Uh, and caravans. So I'm going to do that. Uh, and that leaves me with 200 points. Now I'm going to go right until I get over into this menu, which is the animals. And we're going to go around here and change some of the animals. So here we have, we have some turkeys, uh, a gobbler, and six hens. That's going to be good. They're going to lay eggs, they're going to breed, Gonna be more turkeys, more food. We have dogs, two female, one male. That's also fine. We can train dogs to be hunting dogs or war dogs, and we can put them on our gates to guard against thieves and sneaky cobalt that try to steal our shit. And we have cats. We don't want cats. Cats help control the pests in your um, fortress. But in my opinion, I'd rather have a few pests that nibbles on our food storage uh, because we have plenty of food normally um, than have cats going around adopting dwarfs, having babies, and giving us the famed 
cat explosion, which will kill your fortress by FPS death. Um, so we take away that, and to spend the points that we now have freed up for another food source, uh, by replacing our steel anvil with an iron anvil, I am going to get pigs. Pigs are the super most optimal animal you could have. Um, at least when you're a dwarf. Uh, there are a few other animals we would like to have, but we will sort of have to get them later on. Um, I would like to have some sheep, or actually, they cost the same, so we will get a ewe and a ram as well. Uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, by having a ewe and a ram, we have a breeding pair of sheep. Sheep gives us wool, which in turn gives us cloth. And cloth is one of those things that's painful, in my opinion, to manage you know, for, as an industry. Because just getting the raw material can be so cumbersome uh, if you don't have it readily available. So by having that, we're going to have a growing and hopefully decent sheep population at some point. Uh, and by having a sow and a boar, uh, we have pigs, which will give us food. By no means, the sheep will give us food as well, because we don't want an ever-expanding population of these. Um, but the sheep we need to keep above ground, because they need to graze and have grass available. The pig does not need grass, it just, it just exists. It doesn't consume food. Uh, it gets some water, I think. The dwarves bring it water. Um, I'm not sure if it... I'm not sure they actually do bring pigs water. Maybe the pig's just sort of a magically uh, super animal that lives in a cave underground and breed and you eat them. So that's, that's that. We're going to have that. Uh, we also now have 29 points still available and we increase our hen population uh, of turkeys just to get that production going faster. Because turkeys are going to be a source of leather, they're going to be a source of meat and eggs early on for us. So five points left, what should we put that in? Um, more meat? No, we'll go with five more plump helmets. Like that. Uh, P to see the problems we had. We had no pond turtle available. Uh, we have immediately alleviated that problem by adding more cave lobster. And from here, we could now hit F or capital F to name our fort. We could have capital D to name our group. We could have Y to change our symbol. We could hit S to save this Embark profile for later on. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is just hit E to Embark and that'll bring us into the game proper, uh, and we can start playing, which we're going to do in the next episode. So hitting E.